Hi, this is Phil Susan. Yeah, Phil Susan, bass player. Yeah. Some of you guys may know me from Ozzy Osbourne, from Billy Idol, from Vince Neil, um, and uh, way back in the day from people like Jimmy Page and uh, Edgar Winner, Steve Lukather, many people. I've, I've worked with a lot of people. And I'm here today to tell you about a fantastic app called AnyTune Pro. Um, this has really changed uh, changed my life for the better. <laughs> At least it's changed some of the effort that I have to put into what I do. See, I'm a very active bass player, and I have to do uh, all kinds of different things. I'm not only playing with bands, but I also appear regularly in Raiding the Rock Vault, which is a show in Las Vegas. I uh, appear with a lot of the rock and roll fantasy camps, where I have to um, do training and 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 uh, and learn a lot of songs, and uh, and I also appear with uh, some of these uh, um, uh, tribute concerts, such as the Bonzo Bash and Randy Rhodes Remembered. So somewhere between all of these, there's a lot of material that has to be learned. In fact, last year there was one month where I had to learn 92 songs, which is insane. As I could I think you could probably imagine, it's like, ah, how am I going to learn 92 songs? So um, any tune is something which I've been shown and which really has changed my life for the better and made life a lot easier. And hopefully it can make life easier for you too. So I'm here to do a little video just to give you a quick overview and tell you what I think of it. So the app is available for iOS and it's also available, obviously, for the iPad. If you buy it for the iPhone, it shows up on the iPad and vice versa. Um, they have a separate app which is available for the Mac computer. I don't think anything is available for Android yet, so there you go, that's what happens when you buy an Android. Um, but uh, they may port it for that soon, just keep your eyes peeled. Um, in the meantime, the app is right over here, and here's the problem. Most of the time I'm learning, you know, kinds of rock music and we have issues. The issues are that very often some tracks are recorded at concert pitch, some tracks are recorded a half step down, and then when I'm sitting down and I'm trying to learn an entire set and I'm going from, from the, through the songs, um, you know, I have to keep changing basses. This one's tuned down a half step, uh, but then I would have to have two basses and I'd have to switch between them and just determine which is which and what's going on, and that is very disruptive to the whole learning process. I'm sure you'd, you'd agree with that. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the app. First thing I think is fantastic about it is it goes right inside your iTunes and it basically can read what is in your iTunes library without you having to import everything. That's a boon. Uh, it's, a great, it's a great time saver. If we look at the app which I've brought up here and I'm going to look, this is on the iPhone, I'm going to look at, uh, at, uh, at the back here and I can see that I have Songs. I have all kinds of songs in here, tons of songs, and it's just really referencing my iTunes library. And so when I'm learning stuff, what I do is I, I put it together in iTunes as a playlist in the order that the set might be. So if I click on playlists, it can see my playlists, and I'm going to pick one here which says "Big Noise Russia." We just got back from Moscow. We did some gigs over there, and I had a set list here, and all fairly well-known songs, uh, all rock stuff. So I've put them into order, so I can pick on one of these songs, like for example. We can pick on Highway Star. Um, at the bottom of the app, we have a, a slider which can navigate anywhere into this, anywhere in the song that I want, from the beginning, middle, wherever. And then, if I go to the, if I go to the very top and I start playing, uh, everybody knows the intro for that song, of course. Um, and as it happens, I'm actually in tune. And the reason I'm in tune is because my, to my um, any tune is already tuning down a half step. If I double tap it, it goes back to the original pitch of the song. And you'll see this is now a half step up. And that's how we listen to it. That's how we're all familiar with it. But if I happen to be playing on a half step down guitar, it's not going to sound fantastic. So rather than retune the guitar, boom, I just click semitone down and... There we are. Now what's great about this is it remembers the last setting that I had. So as I go through the whole set list and as I change these, it remembers them. And so I don't have to, 
to, to mess around with the app anymore. I, I could just go through the whole set or go to particular, you know, individual songs. Uh, what else can it do? Well, uh, it doesn't just do the half step down in half step increments. You can actually go in cents. You can go in small quantities um, of pitch change. So, um, in order to do that, what you would do is literally just slide along this bar. Double tapping and brings it back to zero. I'll give you I'll show you the effect of that. So you can see I'm gradually slowing it down, which is pretty cool. And it's great because sometimes back in the day I guess certain bands didn't have tuners because they recorded things that were just a little bit higher than than concert pitch. And rather than have to retune your guitar or bass, oh, of course you can use this for guitar as well, um, this is a real time saver as well. So the other thing we can do is we can slow things down. So I can take this track and I can play it and I can say... Speed it up. That's half speed, and it sounds remarkably good. I mean, I can pick out what I need to pick out in there. Right? So that's fantastic. And the scrub feature is tremendous as well. Not only can you scrub, you know, globally through the song, but I can... Oh, what was that bit? Hang on. I really didn't know that he sang It's Got Everything, but now I know. So you can scrub over and over again until uh, you've either learnt the part or you're um, fed up of hearing that particular little bit. Um, it also has a loop trainer built in, and the loop trainer is fantastic. What we can do is we can click on here, boom, and we can pull up the loop feature. And then I can have an area in the song, if I hit pr press play, I can select an A point a B point or an in and an out point and then I can just loop between those two points. I'll show you that really quickly. It's very easy to do. Hit play. There's my A point. There's my B point and I loop it. The step trainer is remarkable because if I hit the step trainer which is just a button it's going to play it back 10 times. It, the first time it will slow it down to half speed and it will gradually increase it um, until over the 10th time it's come back to full speed. So if it's a tricky part and you know how to play it slowly, you can play it and it will gradually speed up and speed up and speed up and that will help you with your precision. It will help you learning a part as well. So fantastic stuff. Um, there's also an EQ section. Uh, and the EQ section is very useful. You can select from dif different EQs. Uh, for example, I've picked one called Isolate Bass over here. And uh, there we go. And it's in there. And by putting that in, it removes a lot of the other instruments if I'm having a hard time trying to pick out a note. They actually recommend that you combine this with speeding and uh, uh, raising it up two octaves. Um, I'll, I'll show you what that sounds like. It sounds very, um, you know, twee, uh, chipmunk-like, but you can actually pick out the bass if it's a note that you can't figure out. And, and this is kind of fun uh, just to hear. So I'll, I'll, just, uh, I'll just show you what it's like. There we go. 24. Whoops. Actually, I went up 20. Now we want to go, there we go, 24 semitones, which is two octaves. Here you go. There you go. So you can actually, it does help you pick stuff out. So that's, that, that, there's definitely a, a use for that. Um, in the meantime, we'll take the EQ off and we will go back. Um, now, I go back to the other songs here. Let's go to something else here with Mob Rules, uh, of course. Uh. Yeah. Okay, great. That's in tune. If I go to the next song, let's see what's next. Rainbow in the Dark. Okay, that's in tune, and then we'll go to something else. Let's go to, I don't know, which is the Aussie tune.
Great, that's in two and two. And you can see, I've already set in these changes. This one is down a half step. It's already down a half step and it remembers it. So that's really what I wanted to show you. I've now got it to where the entire set is all in one particular pitch. Very, very quick. Okay, uh, by the way, um, by the way, by the way, by the way, um, if we go to a song, we can also turn the unit on its side and it gives us a little bit more, of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit more of a, a scrub feature and that's I find that I find to be much more useful when I'm actually learning the song. Once I've got it all dialed in, I find myself scrubbing backwards and forwards. So, there you go. Now, here I am in my studio with my guitar going into a little bass amp and I'm playing back through my speakers. But, I'm sure you're all asking yourselves, what do you do when you get out on the road? Well, they've come up with an idea for this as well. And any tune has a fantastic feature in it that is called... Um, that is called... Play live or live along play or something. I can't remember what it's called now. But uh, sorry, guys, you're going to have to forgive me on that one. <laughs> um, live play. Live play, I think. It's this button here with a microphone. So I'm going to show you something. Here I have a little device. Uh, you can use all manner of these uh, devices, and they're made by different people. This one happens to be a Native Instruments iRig. It's a little $29 or $30 little device. And what happens is that this goes into your phone. And we have some connections here. So my guitar uh, can be plugged into the guitar socket here. This will go into the phone. And on the other side here we have a headphone connector so I can actually connect headphones if I wanted to but I've got something better than headphones this is my new favorite toy which is the back float speaker part of the superstar series from monster and boy monster products monster makes some unbelievable products and this is just fantastic it's a tiny little Bluetooth speaker stereo speaker that packs a punch I mean trust me this thing sounds unbelievable and I take it on the road with me everywhere I go. It will float in water. Not that I take it into the bath, but I could if I wanted. And the other nice thing about it is it will take a little mini jack and it'll convert it into a hardwired speaker system. So that goes into my headphone jack on my iRig. And if I've done all of this right, we go into our live play here and we see that we have some additional controls. If I activate it by touching it here, live mix, that's what it's called, live mix. There, you can hear my bass. I can adjust the level of it. Make it a little louder. There. And I can play along if I wanted to. Great. So instantly I've trans uh, I've transformed this whole little setup into a portable setup that can be set up in any hotel room anywhere in the world. It's fantastic. I love this. I can just walk into a room, iPhone, a couple of chords in this little box, pull out my guitar, and I could just learn anything, anywhere, anytime, any tune. Hey, that's a good uh, little catchphrase there. But really, it is totally portable, and it's just fantastic. Um... Okay, great. So, uh, I also want to show you another thing very briefly. I will show you the, the Apple app. Okay, really quickly. Uh, so here's the app for the Apple computer. Uh, it's a different app. It doesn't come with the uh, iOS app. It has to be purchased separately. But I think it's still pretty reasonable. I think it's $24 or something. And once again, it scans right through your iTunes library. Uh, you go straight to your playlists. You find whatever playlist you want. You select your song. And we're just listening to Neon Nights. There it is. And we scrub backwards and forwards just the same way. We can connect the iRig if we want to. And the same features that we have here are shown on the screen. We have a little more real estate, so it's quite easy to navigate to, through all of these buttons at the bottom, which give us all the features we discussed. And we scrub back and forth, or we can scrub there. So there you, ha there you have it. That's the, that's the um, 
the program for the Mac computer. Wonderful. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I really, really love this, um, this app. I would suggest that you do yourself a favor and go to the App Store and download it. They have a free version. It's called AnyTune Free. And it's free. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, it has many of the features we've been discussing. You then, ha you then have the option to unlock certain additional features for a bit of a price, um, such as export, such as the EQ, um, etc. Um, but, or you could just buy the fully unlocked version, which is called AnyTune Pro, and it's $14.99, which, trust me, is the best $15 I think I've ever spent in my life. I mean, it's, you know, it's the price of a couple of beers, and it has, you know, changed the way that I learn songs. Really, really wonderful product. You can also have a look at the Mac program if that's something that might be more appropriate to you. But uh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I wish you lots of success in learning your songs or learning your set, be they for a, um, a gig or for an audition. Uh, and, uh, you know, just remember, anywhere, anytime, any place, any Tune Pro. Okay, thanks for watching. Phil Susan, checking out. And see you very soon next time. Rock and roll.